Reporting from the Q Television Center with news from your region, we are the first for news that matters to you locally, regionally, and nationally. This is QTV News. Good morning. This is the Lifestyle News brought to you by QTV. I'm James Devlin. 60 new members of staff are starting at Randox Laboratories in Crumlin this week. 95% of them are graduates and nearly half are scientists. This is in addition to the 150 new people Randox have employed so far this year. Reports that loyalist paramilitaries have warned several bars in Larne not to serve Catholics are being condemned. MLA Oliver McMullen says a bar owner told him that a mob purportedly representing paramilitaries issued the warning to several Larne pubs on Saturday afternoon. He's concerned that the ongoing tensions between paramilitaries in the Larne area is now escalating into a sectarian campaign. All parties at Belfast City Council have agreed to support a motion condemning violence, supporting dialogue and respect for difference. It followed the DUP's refusal to support a Sinn Féin motion which condemned an attack on Lord Mayor Marcin O'Muller. He was attacked by loyalist protesters at an event in Woodville Park last month. Nine police officers were also injured. DUP councillors wouldn't support the original motion as they said it was too narrow in its scope. A new nine-point motion which condemned recent attacks, including the attack on the Lord Mayor, received cross-party support. Well, that's the latest. Stay up to date online with Lifestyle and listen to Q Radio. Good morning.